welcome to my project ideas so we have started a new series called sap ab app projects where we are planning to create multiple sap ab app projects that will be very beneficial for bappers or app developers so the very first project that we are going to discuss is called a app calculator program so if you are watching this video it means uh, you have just started learning ab app you are a fresher and uh, it's very important that uh, you understand the prerequisite of this project so you need to have a SAP logon, you need to have a developer access, and you need to have basic understanding of mathematics. So how exactly a calculator works, you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, these basics uh, you need to understand. So if you do not have SAP logon, and if you do not have a developer access, what you can do? So for, so for that, I have mentioned a link in the description where you can go and visit and learn about SAP logon. You can buy, a trial or developer access and you can get started okay so i have already logged in into my sap logon and this is a search bar where i can write a transaction code i will write se38 so it will take me to a map editor you can create your own program here your program should start with the letter z it means the created program is a custom code and not a SAP standard code. It can also start with Y. So suppose you want to create a new program. I will just call it a Rudra one and click create. Give a title, calculator program, type as executable program, and save it. It will ask uh, for the object directory entry, mark it as local object. A new program is created. For you, the code is already available on the internet. Just visit this website. The link is in the description. From here, you can just copy and paste the entire code. So we'll discuss the code later on. We'll try to execute the code first. Yeah, so the code is copy and pasted. In the menu bar, you see this uh, particular icon. Click on this. This will check the quality of the code and report a syntax error to you. The next icon is to activate the code. Once you activate the code, then only you can execute that code. The last one is the execution. Once you execute the code, you see the output of your code. Here it demands two input. Let's give it two and two or two and three. And just execute it. Now you see another screen where you have been provided with multiple options of a calculator. If you want to add, just click on add and then click on execute. The output is 5 and it is correct. So we'll go back and read the entire code and then understand the code. So the very first part is called parameters where you define the parameter that you want to take it from the user. And the second code is and the second part is called data, where you take the variable input, which will be used in, in the entire code. And the next part is called selection screen, where we create a screen. And this is a screen that you have seen in the next part. You know, after execution, you have seen uh, some buttons where the options were off to add, subtract, multiply, division. So in the initialization part, where we can in initialize the value of our buttons that we have created above, so whatever the name we have given, so we have given a right name for that. Add, subtract, multiply, division, rather than add, sub, mul, div. Once you have specified the screens, now it's time for calculation, right? So add selection screen is the part where you write uh, the calculation and the coding part. So here we have created cases. Psi, so ucom is the one which will give you the type of the button that is being clicked. If it, it is add, sub, divide, multiply, the code will come to respective part. So when I clicked add, the, the cursor of the compiler came here and it changed the value of flag to one. So by default, the value of flag was zero that we have specified. And then it also did the you know calculation of the addition. And it marked LV out at whatever the output was, like two plus three is equal to five. Before that, LV out was not given any, you know, default data. 
and once it is done then it will exit this uh, particular phase and it will come here the start of selection so this is the part where we show output you know so simply it will uh, check the flag so if suppose the flag remains zero it means you have not uh, clicked on any of the button you know add subtract any buttons if you have not clicked then the flag will remain zero and this message will appear on the screen we'll show you right now and in case you have clicked one it means if in case you have clicked a particular button you will see the output directly that we have already seen and suppose this is one more flag that we have created especially for division where you are trying to divide some number from zero which is not possible right so for that use case we have added a condition here that uh, in case someone is dividing via zero so made the flag as two and show the user that uh, this operation cannot be performed you know cannot divide a number by zero okay so we'll try these two other methods and uh, we'll see what exactly is the output so i will try to divide zero by one this is fine right i click on division zero i try to divide one by zero cannot divide a number by zero so all these checks a developer has to keep in mind while developing a code and the last part where the button is not even clicked i'm not clicking any button here i'm just click on execute so we'll see an information that you need to perform any operation so that's it we'll see you in the next video thank you